to go over gap continuation and all the variations in this video. The latest performance summary as well. This is one of my favorite strategies for this market. I want to show you the performance on all these and a potential update. This strategy can be, be leased. It is also in the portfolios, although not all seven variations. In the basic variation gap continuation 2019 is in our seven trading systems membership website open code. There's always a lot of requests on how strategies work in open code. So I provide that in some of my strategies in my books. And in this in this video, I'm going to go over all variations of the gap continuation 2019 setup, how it can improve for the current market environment. We are in research mode right now. Today is FOMC day, so we would not be trading today anyway if we were still trading. But we have paused during this very low VIX environment and doing research for Q4 and I'm really focused on this gap continuation setup. You can see a list of strategies that I'm looking at for Q4 right now. It's a simplistic list of mostly the NASDAQ strategies we were already trading, not trading the S&P strategies, just NASDAQ strategies, mostly from the current portfolio and just the trend based strategies. And you can see this trades gap continuation 2023. This is one of my most favorite my favorite setup right now going into q4 this is through friday september the 15th the current drawdown and so the opportunity to get in on a drawdown and start this portfolio setup with a limited set of strategies i anticipate q4 to potentially um potentially have a rally even though fundamentally it seems like the market should go down it's difficult for this market to go down on any news and so um, liquidity seems to want to hold it here and then Q4 potentially run it up. So looking at these NASDAQ strategies could potentially be a, a good entry point for us. So far this setup is up 135 on the year. Hypothetically we have not been trading this exact setup. The drawdown curve is orderly and cyclical and you know the entry to risk worst case drawdown is this is where it is as of September the 15th it could change by October 1st but this is what we are looking at initially the more you look at counter trend strategies the more you realize how um, challenging it is to come up with a counter trend strategy so oftentimes the best way to trade a choppy market is a more selective trend approach this is the latest version of gap continuation 2023 this is not in the portfolio calculator I have added a filter that we could potentially add to potentially improve that portfolio setup. And here is the equity curve. It's not much different. I will show you the original uh, setup, but this is the gap continuation 2023 using the VIX filter. Don't take short trades. If the VIX is greater than, average daily range of the VIX is, is less than two, we don't take short trades. And that is the filter that we're looking at. So here is the existing setup that is in the portfolio calculator, a really good setup, $209 average trade profit with slippage and commission. This is an existing strategy. We have been trading the, um, the 2020 version with a $700 stop loss and not this version. So this version is actually at equity peaks up here, a little bit of a drawdown, but recent equity peaks and um, let's look at the long and short differences. The main difference in these gap continuations is the long side is so much better than the short side for the most part. In this latest version of gap continuation 2023, we use a market internal filter related to the advanced decline line to improve the short side, really reduces the number of short trades. And you can see the number of short trades is uh, 253 versus 547 and it also helps to reduce the drawdowns as compared to the other versions that we're going to take a look at and so i'm going to go back and i'm going to look at these um, with 2022 version and then we're going to go backwards the 2022 version you can see here 161 970 152 51 average trade profit seventeen thousand dollar drawdown and you have 142,000 on the long side with a 74 75 drawdown so the, the 2022 version is better on the long side while it's worse on the short side. So that's one thing that could possibly be done is to trade the long side of 2022 and the short side of 2023. So you can see that here. 
This strategy recently made equity peaks, though, so that's a positive note for this strategy. And let's go back and look at the current version that we're trading. This is the current version that we're trading. It had this sharp pullback, which is which has happened before. You see sharp pullbacks in this strategy setup. And so that's a normal drawdown. And you have it there. You have some smaller ones here, uh, some medium ones here, pretty sharp one there, pretty sharp one here. And so drawdowns are normal. This one's pretty sharp. And so I prefer fast, sharp drawdowns because uh, oftentimes they have the better potential to recover versus slow grinding ones uh, that take longer. And so let's look at the metrics on this as far as the performance summary. Now the short side is a net loser for 281 trades, while the long side is a net winner, 85,075, and it's only a 5535 drawdown. And so incredible strength on the long side, uh, just trading this one setup. The um, other thing that you'll notice is a $725 stop loss um, really reduces the uh, percent profitability. It's decent on the long side, not doesn't do as well on the short side. Also, the tighter your stop loss, the lower the percent profitable profitability is going to go, and the lower the average trade profit is going to be. So let's go back to Gap Continuation 2020, and this is using a $300 stop loss. This is um, I was using a $300 stop loss on this strategy before the pandemic obviously after the pandemic we had to increase our stop losses the market was much more volatile um, but still it's made recent equity peaks so if you like to trade with a tight stop loss you won't get the results you get won't be as high but if you really want to want to trade um, each trade to be a smaller uh, risk you're going to end up having more losing trades and so you have to endure long losing streaks and a high percentage of losing trades when you have a tight stop loss, um, but you can still be profitable per this gap continuation setup that we're looking at right here. And gap continuation 2019, this is pre-pandemic with a $2,000. This is the same strategy that I was using before the pandemic, except it has a $2,000 stop loss post-pandemic. And so really good results, recent equity peaks. And so one of our top strategies really is the gap continuation. And some of these have a range filter and some of them don't. This one does not have a range filter. But for example, the current strategy we've been trading has a range filter. So it waits for the ranges to compress to take short trades. And it's been better in the recent market environment to quickly take those short trades because the market takes makes a quick move and then it's done for the day. And so you can see... Um, Nice gains here. It had this drawdown in this time period. And with a $2,000 stop loss, it's 52% winners and 172 average trade profit. And here's the performance graph. Once again, same exact strategy with a $700 stop loss. A little bit more um, back and forth in the equity curve. Not as many uh, straight line equity curves. The percent profitability is only 40%. $103 average trade profit, $13,300 drawdown let's look at the long side and it's all on the long side and so you really reduce your drawdown on the long trades uh, if you just take the long trades it's 75.50 and if you look at this uh, two thousand dollar stop loss we didn't look at the long side only but you get 133 with 13 245 on the drawdown you do create more room for short trades to win with a two thousand dollar stop loss so the short side 49,655 with a thirty thousand dollar drawdown, and so that is one way to trade short trades uh, with a bigger stop loss. And let's look at the gap continuation 2019 with a three hundred dollar stop loss. It's only right twenty four percent of the time. It generates a lot of trades, only fifty dollars average trade profit or forty nine. And you can see here a twenty one thousand dollar drawdown. Here is the equity curve, and if you scroll down, you'll see 94,000 on the long side with only a 6720 drawdown. So once again, you could still trade this setup long only with a uh, tight stop loss of $300. And this is the past performance. And if we get a rally in Q4, 
Um, it could work out. Still a low winning percentage though. Only 32% of your trades are winners and the consecutive max consecutive losing trades is 16. Can you six, sit through 16 $300 losers and, and be fine like um, and, and consider that normal? It's hard to do. Uh, it's the hardest part of trading is when you cut your losses is sitting through those losing streaks and so this is the reality of trading though is a bigger stop loss will get you um, more a higher percentage of winners but when you manage risk and cut your losses you get a higher percentage of losing trades and then you have to sit through that and so um, but you can do that it's better on the long side let's just look at the long side of this strategy now so this is the long only setup so you can see the equity curve without the short signals really really nice results and this is the case for many of the strategies and so it's 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 uh, with concern that I want to develop a set of strategies that can also take short trades you know in case we hit a bear market I anticipate um, this bull market will continue not because I'm bullish but because uh, the trend is that's where the trend is and but if it turns down we want a set of strategies that can also short it, including gap continuations. And so I think the current set of uh, strategies would work well in a serious uh, bull market, a bear market. But we also have a way to uh, manage that using the VIX filter. And I'm going to show you that next on this very basic gap continuation 2019 strategy um, using the, uh, the same setup, except we're using a VIX filter that requires short trades uh, for the average range of the VIX to be greater than 2.0. The average daily range of the VIX to be greater than 2.0. What happens uh, to this strategy when you take long and short trades and require short trades for the VIX to be elevated? So you can see gap continuation 2019 uh, with that VIX filter and it also has a, a have a twelve hundred dollar stop loss on this, and so you see twelve hundred ninety net profit as a percentage of drawdown. One of the first things to look at two thirty one average trade profit. All of these reports are going back seven years. They include twenty five dollars round turn slippage and commission, and you can take a look at the long side one thirty three eighty four ninety five drawdown fifteen hundred and seventy, and so still a really nice result on the long side. And you do show profits on the short side, 52K on the short side versus a lot of these setups having break even and negative results on the short side. Um, 13,860 minus 13,860. So um, $1,200 stop loss is also something that I like to use. So this is something that I'm looking at um, as far as um, you know improving the short side, staying with the strengths of the long side, and then um, having a separate stop loss for the short side, at least a $1,200 stop loss on shorts, if not 2000 And so a different stop loss parameter for shorts that could be larger than longs. And then you would have a, a VIX filter for the um, average range greater than 2.0. And so you want some movement in the VIX. You don't want a short momentum. Uh, in a dull market, if the market's going sideways and then it blips down and you short it right there and then it bounces right back and it's just a mean reversion trade and you're trying to trade momentum in a mean reversion environment. So we're trying to uh, determine that we're not in a mean reversion environment for short trades, especially in this with this VIX environment. Also, I think that, you know, if we have a real bear market sell off. This VIX filter will easily be greater than 2.0. And that we could, if we go through a season of selling, the shorts could start to outperform the long. So I'm not too worried about this VIX filter affecting short trades. What I hate to do is to turn off short trades and not have a methodology for shorting the market um, in case the market goes into a bear market mode. Um, it seems like no matter what the fundamentals are, the market is propped up for has been propped up for a long time and continues to have a difficult time going down. But at some point, there will be a strong sell-off in this market. And we want to be able to take advantage of that as traders that trade both directions. And so be looking for an update and more updates on this gap continuation setup and a potential addition to our portfolio calculator as we get ready for Q4. Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems' YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. 
We are real money traders. We share our winning streaks, we share our losing streaks, as well as market updates, strategies, and coding tips.